What's up Diva fam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below we are talking about my purchases that I did at Ulta in the year of 2022. Obviously we will see what the lump sum is at the very end of it and if it is a crazy number or not. Um, for those of you who have been here before, you guys know every single year I actually go through all of my purchases, whether it's from Sephora, Ulta, Ipsy, BoxyCharm, anywhere I've purchased makeup, and I pretty much total up how much money I've spent in the money in the year of 2022 or the previous year, you know what I mean. Um, this is I think my third or fourth year doing this, which is kind of crazy, um, but yes, I am so excited to pretty much just jump into this. I'm going to have a side-by-side -side while I'm talking to you guys at the same time too. Um, just so you guys can see what I am talking about, um, a screen recording of all the products I purchased in 2022 from Ulta. So again, this is just a breakdown just of Ulta. Um, I might do one from Sephora or I might just kind of group that one in with the, with the other ones because that one's a little bit smaller. I spend more money at Ulta than anything. Um... But yeah, so without further ado, you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D. And let's just go ahead and get into this. All right, so starting right off the bat, again, if you guys haven't been here before, I post beauty, beauty lifestyle, makeup videos. I post them two to three times a week. I also do um, unboxings on my channel and all the different stuff. I also do giveaways. If you guys want to be a part of that, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscription box. Uh, that Make sure you guys hit that subscribe box down below and also that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future uploads. Also, if you're interested in this makeup look, I recently just tried out a bunch of new products um, that I recently purchased in the beginning of January at Ulta and Sephora. Um, and you're not going to want to miss that. So again, make sure you guys check out the video. I'll have it linked down below. So, but for today, we were actually talking about Ulta. So I'm going to go ahead and start my phone to screen record so we can kind of have this all at the same time while I am talking. Um, so I've already gone ahead and opened up my app on for Ulta's web or like on the actual app itself. Um, and you can pretty much see all the purchases that I've done. So starting off on January 7th, going all the way up to my last purchase of December 1st of 2022. Um, so let's just go ahead and start that up. And then at the very end, I will add up all the money. So starting off on January 7th, as you guys can see, I had a few different purchases. I think this is when the whole, um, what was it? The new e.l.f. brow lift came out. Um, and I was unable to find that, but I did find the applicator. I also picked up the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Mascara, um, and then I picked up two other things, the Kiss False Scara Lash Adhesive All Nighter, and the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, and that was a total of $26.99. I did have a coupon in there somewhere, so it looks like I saved a few dollars. It's probably like the 5 off 15 one, since you can use that on like regular purchases, and on, but especially if it's on, you know what I mean, like drugstore or like a lower end compared to like prestige brands. So there's that. Then I had a second purchase not that many days later um, for just one item, and this was the e.l.f. Stay All Night Setting Spray Mist. And that was a $10 purchase there. Then next, uh, about a month later-ish, less than a month, February 10th, I picked up a few different items. So it looks like I picked up, and it looks like I got a free item in here. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, so I picked up the ColourPop That's Taupe Eyeshadow Palette, which I really, really love. Um, I, will forget, I did forget to talk about... Um, and some of these other ones. I do like the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow, except that shade did not work for me. I actually had to purchase it in black. Um, the Jumbo Eye Pencil, I use it all the time. The False Scare thing, I haven't really used it yet. I don't think so. The Elf Setting Spray, obviously you guys saw that in my last video. I did use this one. I recently actually have just started using this, so it's crazy. I just started using it mm, in December, almost practically a year later from when I purchased it. Or Yeah, because I purchased it in February. That's nuts, and that's how much of a dent I've put into it. But I really, really do like that a lot. Um, then, obviously, in February, the That's a Taupe eyeshadow palette. I did use that for a really long time. That's a really, really good one. The Elf Thrive Pomegranate Juicy Lip. I don't even know what that is. And it wasn't even in my drawer for decluttering. So that might be in a purse somewhere, or I might have thrown it away by accident. 
um, the NYX Serum Concealer. I have used that. I do like it a lot. Then I don't know what this is down here. It says Morphe Filter Effect Concealer 5 Shade, but I only paid a penny for it. I don't know what that is. And it says non name not available. So this purchase had $29.50 in that one. Then we have March 3rd where I purchased the original Beauty Blender. I think this was during like their um, 21 days of beauty. So I got it for $10 instead of $20. I also got the Tula Protect and Glow SPF. I picked up the Milani Fetish Floral Petal. I really do like that lipstick. Um, the Tula Protecting Glow I used during the summer. Um, I just recently started using a beauty blender. I've never tried one until recently. This was the blue one, um, and I actually do like it. I also own the pink one still. I haven't used it yet. Um, and then you have the Morphe Lucky Charms Magic Lip Gloss. That one really did smell like Lucky Charms. Um, I have only used it maybe less than less than a handful of, a handful of times, and that purchase was a forty three forty nine. Okay, then let's see what's next. So we've got March 23rd. Because <laughs> we're still in the 21 days of beauty. I went and purchased all of these Jaclyn Hill lipsticks, which I have tried a few of them, not all of them. And I got that for a grand total of $50 spending there. Um, this is all without tax, I think, because it's not giving me that there. So we're just kind of, you know, assuming this is where the, the ballpark of money that I spent um, I could always add on tax later after we figure out that grand number. So, but yes, I purchased all of these. Um, honestly, I don't remember which shades are which. So I do know I have worn the terracotta looking one. So I think that's the top one that's called Be Bold. Um, that is a really, really pretty shade. And I think I've also worn the In Control one, which is like the pinky mauve shade one. So $50 in purchase there. Then the next day I went back and I got the All Nighter Loose Setting Powder and finally was able to pick up the Elft Brow Lift Concealer. And then I also got, it says a year long promo register CPN. I don't know what that is. I don't know what's going on with these extra things that are on here, but it is what it is. It says I spent a total of $20.50. So there is that. Okay, cool. Then a few days later, in March 29th, I picked up the Urban Decay Hydromanic Tinted Glow Foundation and I picked it up in a light shade and also a dark shade and that was a total of $29. <clears throat> then we jump into July where I had three purchases. July 4th, it looks like I picked up some soft gel tips along with the soft gel adhesive and also a nail polish. That total came out to be um, $12.97 because I used 600 of my points during that time. Um, I purchased these products because I saw that on TikTok and they actually worked out very well. So I will say if you guys are interested in doing your own soft gel nails, you should definitely pick up this kit or these items right here and you will not be disappointed whatsoever. Then we've got July 20th, where I went back again. I don't even know what I was going for. This just looks like a hot mess. Um, I was looking for a new eyelash curler, which actually I still use. It's right here by Tweezerman. Um, the Essence Lash Princess Value Mascara, which I love, love, love. It's my favorite one out of all of them. Then the Elf Camo Concealer, which is just in the regular version. Um, an Essence Lipstick, and it looks like I also purchased a lip liner in a baller um it doesn't even say who the brand's from but it won't even let me tap on it either but i do know i have used that lip liner a lot i think it's actually right here in this drawer where it was i think that might be by nyx because it says line loud so i think that's the nyx brand <clears throat> then i picked up the tart tartlet tubing mascara i actually really do like that mascara but i like the one by benefit better which is like a tubing magnetic mascara then I've got the Rem Beauty um, lip oil, which actually I use all the time now that I've had it. And I've actually put a really big dent into it as well. Um, so I actually use that at nighttime. Then I've got the Essence Lash Princess Eyeliner in black. I don't know if I like that one here. Maybe it's still in the drawer. I don't think I've yet used that. And then I have the um, Makeup Revolution 
uh, IRL filter foundation, which I love that one. I recently just put it away, but I was using it for the longest time. I have two of them, which the other shade will probably come up here shortly. This purchase was the largest so far at $87.47. So there's that. Um, okay, and then in July again, <clears throat> not that much later, not that much later, I picked up the LA Girls Brow Pencil in Black Brown, which I really do love. The Urban Decay Brow Shaping Gel. I honestly didn't really end up liking it as much as I thought um, because it was a... Someone talking about it on TikTok or maybe on YouTube somewhere, trying that out. Then I brought the then I bought the Elf uh, Power Grip Primer, which is supposed to be the dupe for the Milk one. Um, why I bought that? It was because I had the the Mint one, which I think was the original one I did, but I just didn't like the smell of that one, um, and so I got rid of it. And I bought this one instead. Still a good primer. It's still a good dupe. And then I have the lash princess eyeliner but in brown because I bought the black one previously and I don't think I've used either one of these yet or if I did in a previous video maybe I did and I don't think I liked one of them so that was $27.48 now we go over into August where there's three purchases again <clears throat> August 10th I purchased let's see what is this the Loose Baking Powder by Makeup Revolution. Hate it. Don't like it. Don't buy it. Not worth it. Um, I probably should have bought the translucent one because this one was in just like the fair shade or whatever. the banana. I don't know what shade it was. But it wasn't the translucent one. So I wasn't really a big fan of it. But the translucent one's like white. So I don't know. Just no. Because even just getting it out and then trying to get your brush or anything into it. Just not worth it. The Now the Makeup Revolution Concealer is really really good then I finally um I did actually try these products now that I remember now um on TikTok it's somewhere on there if I can find the video I'll link it down below of me trying to do my own lash extensions I will say it was an okay it wasn't a fail and it wasn't a flop but it was an okay it was a good effort um then I've got the elf putty Br uh blush in Bermuda that was a cream blush. Those are actually really good brushes. And here's the other shade that I bought by the IRL Filter Longwear Foundation. And then I also picked up the No Budge um, Eyeshadows by e.l.f. in just the color white. So there's that. And I haven't used that one yet. It's actually still sitting in the drawer um, if you watched my declutters. So there is that. Um, and then it looks like I also went back on the 31st twice. Twice. Because I was on a hunt, actually. You know what? I remember this. Because I had just purchased... Hold on, go back. Um, the first items I purchased were the Lactic Acid by The Ordinary, the Ultra Under Eye by Ulta, the Ulta brand. I'm sorry, the Ulta Under Eye Brightener, which I really, really do like. Um, and finally, the black shade in the NYX Stick It Brow. And that was $25.50. I really wanted to try out the... Born Dreamer Perfume by Charlie D'Amelio, and I purchased that, and that was $48. So those are my two purchases in one day, which is crazy. Um, then I've got one, two, three, four, four purchases for September, and then we're like literally so close to the end of the year. So September 1st, I purchased the Clinique um, Concealer. It looks like we're back in the 21 days of Ulta again. They do it twice a year, so... This was $14.50. It was an okay concealer, not my favorite, I will say. Then I've got the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. So originally I purchased the one in the small version, which is the travel size, and then the big size actually went on sale. So I did purchase that one. I haven't tried out the big one yet, but it is a really good mascara that I really do like. Um, and then we have on the 13th, I purchased a few more items. I purchased two e.l.f. Um, liquid liners, one in just regular black, the other one was in midnight. I will say the midnight one was not as the color that it should be, so I got rid of it. The e.l.f. one I feel like I opened and it might be back here somewhere, but I haven't used it since I opened it. Um, then I also have the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in um, Ecstatic, and it's like a deep plummy shade. It has a nice balmy feel. Um, gives your lips like a nice like glow to it as well. I really do like that line. I've had previous ones in the past, but they were like lighter shades. This one's a darker one because I bought it more or less for like 
the winter time. Then I've got the e.l.f. Putty Blush in um, Isle de Sol, and that is in the Illuminating Putty Blush. I've used it once, I think. It's actually right here. Um, or maybe I haven't used it at all. Don't remember. No, I've used it. It's okay. Um, I think I need to play with it more because this just isn't the right shade during, you know, during the winter. That's more of like a, like, summer shade, so... And then I also picked up a, um, a gel nail polish in the color black, and that was $27.49 because it looks like I had a coupon in there as well. So there was that purchase. Am I done with September? Almost done. Then I've got September 19th, which I went back and just to purchase the ColourPop in Harry Potter um, makeup collection. I purchased four different items at that same time. So I purchased the Harry Potter highlighter in Buckbeak, the Harry Potter um, Velvet Luxe Lip in Ron Weasley, then I purchased the eyeshadow palette in the Lip Balm. I will tell you I have used the highlighter, really, really, really pretty. The eyeshadow palette I used the crap out of. I was in love with it. I traveled with it recently. That was like my eyeshadow palette, ride or die. The Ron Weasley color, I need to use more because that shades in like season right now with like fall and winter. So I definitely need to use that more. And then the lip balm, I have used it on my lips. It does feel really, really good. Um, but I haven't fully like given it a full try or a full go yet. And that full purchase was $58.50. So yeah, $12 on that one. $27.49 on that one. And then $58.50. Then our last three purchases of the year, there was only once in November, good job Sandra, once in November, um, it's because I went because of my birthday month and that was the only time I purchased it. It was the Benefit Mascara and it was the pairing one. If you guys can find this in like the little small area towards like the cashier, you will find this duo where you get the big one and the small travel size for the same price as the big one is for $27. So it's definitely a good find if you can find it. And then I also got this birthday um, Clinique mask. So that was a $17 purchase right there. Um, I think it's because I also had a $10 off coupon that I used. So I got that for cheaper than it should have been. Then I bought the eyeshadow palette, which I have right here. This is the ABH New Nova no Nove um, palette. This was um, $55, but I had a coupon for this, I think, and I got it for $44. So either I either used points or, oh no, I had, um, a gift card on my phone. I do remember that. I had a gift card on my phone. So I think it was like a $10 gift card that I used and that was cool. So, but it took off $11. Weird. Don't know. Anyways, so I got it for $44, which was cool. Um, and that was the last purchase that I had in 2022. So now I need to go off camera and add all these prices up and then I will be right back. All right, so I am back and I fully added up every single one of those days. So the total that it comes out to be without tax is $629 and 57 cents that I spent at Ulta. And then with tax, it would be um, an additional $44.07, so a grand total of $673.64 at Ulta. That's actually pretty good for me. Um, I'd have to double back and look at previous years and see how much money I spent at Ulta. Um, I do know I did keep my platinum status going into the next year. I think you have to spend just over $500.00. To keep platinum status um, every single year and then I think to get like diamond status I think you have to spend like 1500 a year and I no, I can't do that that's way too much money to invest um, when I already spend it in other places so yeah at least I was under a thousand dollars and I'm actually very proud of that I was actually under under seven hundred dollars so that's even better um, so obviously we'll see how next year starts because I've already spent some money, but that's kind of like gift card money, so I don't really know in those purchases if I had gift cards somewhere in there or other things, but that's it. So if you guys guessed beforehand on how much money you thought I spent, then um, I'm curious. I'm very curious. So 
Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. So you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D, and I'll see you in the next one.